Just greetings to everyone. You know, I mean, give thanks for following it. Marcus Messiah Garvey. You know, we learned about him in school. In Jamaica, you learn about national heroes. And, you know, Nani of the Maroons, Paul Bogle. You know, a lot of these individuals. And it's like, you don't really, you don't really learn too much about Marcus Garvey, to tell you the honest truth. And, you know, we in Jamaica, and we as Rasta know why that happened. Because you have certain individuals where them work is so profound and so revolutionary that if the truth really come out, it can just spark a whole new awakening in the minds of people, you know what I mean? And that is something that due to the, the colonial power still in control of Jamaica, even though we claim to be independent. You know, we know that there is still an oppression of certain knowledge, certain essential knowledge that can inspire people to really, you know, stand up and be counted, which is what Marcus Garvey was all about. You know what I mean? Africa for Africans, you know, up you mighty race. You know what I mean? Things like that is like, you, you're not really taught to think like that, you know, modern day Jamaica. You know, you just start to kind of blend in and you're just out of many one people, which is good, you know, there's nothing wrong with those ideas. But in terms of the situation where we're in, there's something missing, the missing link as to why we are in this situation. You know, you just kind of get taught, oh, we are in this situation and now we need to forget about it and get out of it. But Marcus Giave was one of them man that was saying, look, this is why we're in this situation and this is how we have to get out of it as a people together. You know, and I learned this, this side of Marcus Giave, I learned through Rastafari. You know what I mean? And it's, you know, it might seem coincidental, but you know, I learned about Rastafari through reggae music. You know what I mean? Everybody knows, from you know me, you know, say, this is like a lot of music. Really kind of uplift me into this whole liberty. And, you know, you constantly hearing about the prophet, the priest, and the king. Prophet, priest, and the king. Marcus Giave, Emmanuel, and Haile Selassie I. You know what I mean? And I was brought into the consciousness of Marcus Giave within that, that perspective. You know, Marcus Giave said, look to the east for the coming of a black king. You know what I mean? And we saw that as symbolic, you know, years later with the coronation of his imperial majesty. You know what I mean? And, you know, having an image of black royalty. And up until that point, Marcus Giave was that image for me. You know what I mean? That image, a man that, as you said, dressed royal. You know what I mean? When he step out in inner that royal code of dressing, how he conduct himself, the businesses that he opened, thinking about nation building. You know what I mean? And I was brought into awareness of Marcus Giave from that respect as a Rasta youth. You know, you know, we know about certain things that happen. Letters wrote about his imperial majesty and things, but you know, you know what I mean, and just focus on that. You know, the mission that is still at hand to uplift Africa. You know what I mean? That mission is still carrying on and reggae music is an extension of that mission to me, to I. You know what I mean? And it's that same mission where we there uplift the minds of the people so that people can be free. You know what I mean? To pursue what they want in their life. You know, and yeah, you know, Marcus Yavi has been that, that influence, that basis for social change. You know what I mean? Everything what we do now in these times, these organizations that we're starting up. We are trying to, to work with that blueprint that Marcus Giave and the UNIA set for I and I. You know what I mean? And that example. You know, so I don't really know if I stray from the question in LA, but I saw I kind of talking. No, you don't stray at all. Come on. If that's. <laughs>